Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond, Andrew Wiggins. And before we hop into this video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 5,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, it's totally free. Great way to support the channel. Really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's see what Wiggins is looking like. So Wiggins is always a top budget card in my team. I'd use the card. He's a six foot eight shooting guard option or small forward. I'm playing with shooting guard in this gameplay though. 99 offense and defense coming with a 94 driving lamp, 94 close shot, 94 mid range, 89 three pointer, and a 99 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 89 block, 86 interior with a 92 seal, 92 perimeter defense. So defense is looking super solid. And then 95 speed and excel, 92 speed ball, and a 95 lateral quickness. So really really good stats across the board one of the most complete pink diamonds in my team also a 95 driving and flashy dunk tendency defensive tendencies also look really good with a 95 pass interception 98 on ball steal 95 contest and block shot tendencies as well badge wise comes with 17 hall of fame badges which include catch and shoot corner specialist difficult shots fearless finisher acrobat clamps intimidator posterizer pogo stick tireless defender slithery downhill quick first step unstrippable ankle braces limitless takeoff and fast twitch also 40 golds Include ankle breaker, hyper drive, lob city, glue hands, pickpocket, pick dodger, chase stars, quick chain, interceptor, uh, limitless spot up, bailout, handles for days, set shooters, great space creator, stop and go to handles, unpluckable, dead eye, sniper, green machine, hot sun hunter, bullet passer, uh, slippery off ball, menace, ball stripper, and hustler. A lot of good badges on the card. Definitely a few to add though as well. Brick walls, a big one, rim protector as well. Those two are pretty key. Post lockdowns, a third one I would add. Blinders and chef would be four and five. And those are all the badges that I think he needs added. So he is the badge slots to get every single necessary badge that he needs hopping into freestyle see how wiggins moves so at six foot eight with his sigs he actually moves very very solidly which is nice to see has shifty dribble style again i wish it was i was i wish it was quick but shifty is still going to do the get the job done and also he is he has a the base 22 on very quick which is the same jump shot as guys like jimmy butler and chris mullen it is super fast super smooth and super easy to green one of my favorite jumpers in the game every single year i always love wiggins cards in my team because he's always one of the best budget options and this card is definitely going to be no different definitely Definitely looking like the best pink diamonds uh, shooting guard in the game by a significant margin. Really, really good size, great defender, but also has an elite jump shot, really solid movement, has a good size up as well, which is nice. So he's not just limited to other SIGs, has the Kobe escape as well. So overall, like his SIGs look really, really good. His jumper is great. He's going to also be an elite slasher. He's got a 99 driving dunk, has elite size, like I said, at six foot eight at the shooting guard position. I think he's got the pivot behind the back in the full court as well, which is the best full court dribble SIG in the game. Let's check and make sure he does not, darn it. So there's at least one small flaw with this car that he doesn't have that behind the back. But overall, I think Wiggins is going to be an absolutely incredible option with great size, great shooting, slashing, defense, all those things. He's just going to be a great pink diamond option. So without further ado, let's hop into a game. Let's see what Wiggins can do. All right, let's get into our offense. Let's see what Wiggins can do. Come on, burst here. Where he's being guarded by Harden. My opponent's got a really solid squad. He's got Harden, uh, freaking KD. Um, Yao Ming, Ben, and Giannis. So really, really good team. This is a great test for Wiggins as he gets a nice mid-range jump shot to go on the first possession. So uh, definitely what you like to see. Able to get that crab with that Kobe size up and get him get us our team a stop. Good defense. Okay, well, it was good defense until somehow he drew a foul on that. But you know what? Wiggins looking good on that first offensive possession. Let's keep going. Getting the ball right back into Wiggins. Let's get a pick and pop going. And uh, let's see if we can get an open opportunity. Catch pump fake i probably should have shot that with uh mj but wiggins going all the way to the rim we're gonna take our dunk easy dunk 99 driving dunk he's gonna trigger those dunks constantly and he's able to get that one to go right there good defense wiggins pinch a little bit see if we can get that steal i wanted that steal that's that's tough uh, not able to get the steal but yeah with the block let's go man there we go yeah recovering for us unfortunately wasn't able to get that steal i wish wiggins did have hoff intercepted that's like one small complaint i guess i would say because if he had hoff intercepted he probably gets that steal uh i just vacated the premises entirely trying to leak out with andrew wiggins i don't know what i'm doing there but uh drag back burst here size up yes sir drag back again look at wiggins cooking wiggins oh my wiggins oh my yo i know he didn't score there but i'm liking the way this card is kind of moving right now i feel like he's got he's got that slithery ability to create his own shot a bit which is super nice good size up as well which is also valuable uh it gives him the ability to burst and things like that and he's wide open gonna knock down that shot every day of the week once you get chef and blinders on him as well he's really gonna be more of a threat as a shooter but i'm really liking what this card is capable of giving you so far uh let's see if we can get an x switch here good d good defense great defensive possession this should be a stop give me the block yes sir blake beautiful we get the ball right back up to wiggins really nice defensive possession right, we're getting back out on offense uh wiggins stopping pump fake 
Uh, come on, drag back. You know what? Catch. Pump fake. He's going to fly right by. Wiggins moving mid-range. He greens that anyway. I wanted to stop and shoot a standstill three. We get the moving mid-range, and we still green it. Wiggins with all nine of our points so far on four of six shooting, looking efficient and overall really good. I reached myself out of the play. That's totally on me. Going for a steal that he did not throw, and uh, so that's totally on me. But let's get another pick and pop going. Loving what this Wiggins card has been able to give me on the offensive end so far. Uh, burst here. Drag back. You know what? We're going to take another standing dunk. Easy dunk. He's got slashing takeover, which you love to see. And he is absolutely dominating on the offensive end of the court. All 11 of our points. Doing it really efficiently as well at 5 of 7. Um, and yeah, let's just see some defense as well. Good D by Wiggins. He's even got the defense. Beautiful. This card is so good for a budget option at the shooting guard position. Another great defensive possession. We managed to get another stop. Get him into the screen potentially. Uh, burst here. Drag back. Uh, drag back again. Come on. Let's, I just want to contact here. Andrew Wiggins going up strong. He throws it down. Doesn't get blocked. That's that slash and takeover as well. Able to throw it out another duck. And he has 13 points. Absolutely playing amazingly right now. We're going to switch him on to uh, Ben Simmons. Force the ball out of Ben's hands. Good defense. This is a great defensive possession. We are playing really, really well right now. Good board by AK as well. This man is absolutely boxed. Andrew Wiggins all the way on the baseline. And he's got the strength to power it up over Ben Simmons for another finish. Just just looking like an absolute beast as a slasher as a shot creator defensively everything about this card is telling me that he is a absolute stud especially for his price as he gets another steal throw it up to him again another dunk this card is absolutely dominating he's got 17 points right now and he's playing defense i mean i am loving what i'm seeing out of this card right now wiggins is a beast all right we got a little bit more takeover i feel like we might as well take might as well make use of it if we can uh burst here drag back if I can get a three-point opportunity here, that would be nice, but uh, definitely not going to force it. Uh, hit the back door, actually. We're just going to take our assist. First points of the game scored by somebody else other than Andrew Wiggins gets him an assist, though. He's still the one playmaking for his team, and I'm really, really liking this card a ton. Good recovery speed. Gets out on Harden. He's boxing up. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to box that one up right there. Unfortunately, we finally did give up a bucket. Wiggins, unfortunately, without the best defensive play there, but overall, he has played absolutely amazingly this game, so I'm not going to hold that against him at all. Uh, he's getting a little tired as well no cough handles for days with how much he's handled the ball is definitely not the best recipe for success i gotta green that shot though i got takeover that's got to be a shot that i green unfortunately we're not able to do that but uh yeah wiggins has looked like an absolute beast in this game just a really really good all-around card one more great defensive possession for Wiggins, because why not? Let's hurt his shooting percentage a little bit. Oh, it didn't even count. I didn't go up in time. Didn't go in anyway. But Wiggins finishes off this game with 19 points, an assist, a steal, 9 of 11, 1 of 1 from 3. Incredible efficiency. Overall, played absolutely phenomenally in this game. Let's hop back into the main menu, and let's review the card. All right. In conclusion, Andrew Wiggins is the best budget shooting guard in the game by a mile. I don't, I mean, I think I can definitively say that for his price, which is going to be probably 30,000 MT or so. He is just an absolutely incredible value card. I think he is right up there on par with guys like Chris Mullen, Dr. J, Jimmy Butler, cards like that at the shooting guard position. Obviously, he's not going to be as good as a Michael Jordan, but he's got a great jump shot, really good movement, great size, good defense, elite slasher. Overall, especially once you badge him out, add post lockdown, rim protector, brick wall, blinders, and chef. Once you get those five badges on this card, he is incredibly complete as well. This is the best budget shooting guard in the game, and I don't think it's particularly close. He is an absolutely phenomenal option in my team. Highly recommend this card to anybody who's looking for a guy who can hold it down at a competitive level for a super reasonable price at that shooting guard position. So hopefully y'all do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.